Hey everyone, Pep here, and uh, today's video is going to be a bit different than my content uh, on my YouTube channel. So like, you know, YouTube shorts, should you plays, gaming reports. Uh, today's going to be different as well. I want to do a live commentary video on BattleBit here, since BattleBit is really, really fun. And most of the other games that I want to try and do this on just doesn't seem as appealing as BattleBit. With proximity chat, squad chat, you know, lots of players being able to talk and talk about you know and commentate how i play as i go like i think battle is a perfect game so let me know what you guys think um and if i should do more of these uh we're in a 32 game playing on i already forgot what the map is i'll, I'll get it to it as soon as we as soon as we get in and we're gonna be using the grozer this this the grozer guys is this gun is freaking ridiculous it can do 34 damage up to about almost 100 meters and then it starts to dip down to 8.5, but don't let that fool you. Anything between 0 and 80 meters, or even 90, this gun freaking slaps. It, it's so it's so good. So I'm going to showcase it in today's gameplay. I think we're playing Salhan? Oh, we're playing Salhan. Okay. So the reason why the Groza is so strong is because the Groza is very easy to control recoil. Um, and it doesn't. It, it's more about the vertical Yay. than it is... It's more about vertical recoil than it is about uh, horizontal, so it doesn't spread too much. And it comes with like its own foregrip too, as you can see. Oh, it's not really a foregrip, but you can't actually pull foregrips on this gun, which sucks. I think that another positive about it is that it has 30 bullets and seven magazines, which is very, very good for a, a PDW. My only gripe that I have with the Groza is that it has very, it has a very slow reload speed. So if I Quickly pull out a mag here. This reload animation is four and a half seconds, which is insanely long, and you can't put a quick magazine on it, which sucks. I hope that they do plan to add a magazine or something to it, because I reckon it'll benefit a lot if they decide to do that. I think it would be great. Even the honey badger, same thing. The honey badger is another PDW in this game. And even though that gun only has, I, th I think it also has 30 bullets, it takes... Oh, shit. No, please. It takes... That also takes about a 3.7 3. Oh, or 4 shit, seconds to reload. Like what they did to us, the dogs. They are to you over there, you fucking... No, sure. Help me! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he was dead. foggy out, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh yeah, ladies, daddy. Oh my god, this guy keeps bandaging me. Oh, I finally dead. He kept picking me up. I was like, what the heck? Oh, so we got really unfortunate bomb sites. Uh, so in this game, they for Rush, they randomize bomb sites. So you can get either B and A together, or you can get B down here and A up here. And we got the bass out of the stick. We got B and A. That's really hard to, to push. Especially given the ways that you can push this uh, this side. Oh my god, okay. Gee, I didn't even see that guy. Typically, you want to spawn... In, every time you spawn in your teammates, you always want to look... At, check your surroundings when you spawn in your teammates before you decide to do anything. Because 80% of the time you spawn in teammates, you can end up spawning to your death. You don't want to spawn to your death when you spawn on a teammate. So make sure you clear the area or figure out where they are. Maybe you can quickly spectate them to see what's happening. And if you feel like they're like safe and they're not shooting anybody, you can spawn them. You can safely spawn on them. So I don't immediately spawn on them without checking your surroundings first, or, or checking their surroundings of where they are, because you can die instantly. You don't want that. So my teammate here was is currently fighting, but since we're on the other side of the bridge, it's safe to just spawn on him and have wall for cover, so I can just focus on res oh, sorry healing all my teammates. I love playing the Medic in this game because you can get so much experience just by playing Medic. If you want to level up efficiently in BattleBit, all you need to do is play is play 127, stick with a team at a choke point and just right click everybody. Right click and heal and heal, bandage, um, thank them, I don't know, yeah, just healing and bandaging. I feel like other classes in the game need to have some sort of incentive to play them because I think the Medic is without a doubt the- oh shit, ow, uh oh. Smoke this off real quick. I think the medic is without a doubt the um 
the most efficient and the best class in the game. Simply because you not only rank up faster than them, you can also heal yourself and 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 fast heal and slash bandage or pick up enemies. So like that alone makes this class so strong compared to the other classes. Like the assault, for example. I think assault I think the assault is kind of lackluster. Um, aside from having explosives, it doesn't really offer much. Engineer, nice for refraining vehicles, but they're more useful for like uh, vehicular modes. Support is kind of good too, because you do run out of ammo really quickly in this game, I feel like. Um, so, to, to push this side, I feel like it's best if you try to flank under, instead of flanking, instead of just going through the bridge. The only way to go through the bridge is if everyone just like throws smokes and just runs their way through. Otherwise, it's near impossible to push when they have, when they can just hold like that, leaning or mounted on something. I'm in a bad spot here. I'm gonna try to heal myself. Maybe I can get a repeat and get a kill. Fuck. I try to provide suppressing fire for my team. So I can cross the bridge. Oh, his leg's peeking. Fuck, I got sniped. Oh, there was a guy right under, dude. Annoying. So hopefully that gets fixed. Oh, it's over. That was too quick. So we're playing, we're playing Valley next. This is a really good map. This is probably one of my favorite maps in the game. It's very well balanced for all game modes, for all for both 32, 64, and 127. I think the map is huge and big enough. That's equally fair for both sides. And there's, there's a lot of ground that you can cover. Uh, the bomb variations for Rush for this one are also pretty decent too. Thank you, Medic. It's me, What the fuck? that either way but a tip that i do another tip that i want to give with the groza is if you do plan to use it more often make sure you hold on give me a sec make sure you make sure you pace yourself with the reload speed so see how i'm moving around as i'm reloading you want to make sure you pace yourself accordingly position yourself right take your time if you need to and know that you 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 want to rush but not play you not aggressively rush because if you do, you just get punished for it due to how slow the gun can reload. You want to be very careful. And we just planted the bomb. I'm going to try to defend this since I get this heal off. Oh, I've got to reload my gun too. That's the one letdown of this gun. Which I feel like the MP5, which is another gun that I think is better than the Groza. Um, is better. Oh, yeah. I think the MP5 is better because I already lost my train of thought. Let me say that again. But the MP5, which is, I would argue is better than the Groza, is better in every way. Not only because of the, the range, but also just because of the fast reload. It's like, I think three, three, three and a half seconds by default, which you can reduce with a quick, quick load attachment. Don't quote me on that, but it definitely reloads a lot faster than the Groza. You can play more aggressive with the MP5 than you can with the Groza. Oh my god, I wanted to heal this guy and he just decided to drop down. Oh, as if. He's so low there. Got him. Yeah. Legend, thank you. And never one again. Fuck. I got a kill with the I got my first kill with the Deagle. Let's go! Finally! No, I bled out! Fuck! Medic! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, fucking hell. I finally got my first kill with the medic. Oh, sorry, not the medic, the deagle. Let's go. Another, another feature that I feel like a lot of people probably don't use if they didn't play the tutorial. If you hold P, you can combine your magazines. Which helps to just put everything together. So that way you'll end up almost having a full mag if you end up dropping a lot of mags. Or burn it through the ammo quickly. 
that way it saves you less saves you less time of having to swap through mags that have like four or five bullets each. Fuck. There must be Here something. There must be something going on down there if we're not freaking planning. That's better. How the fuck did I just plant that? What the fuck am I? Cheers, bro. No, oh, we lost. Sorry. Changing sides. We get to defend now. What sides do we get? Now defending on this side and then defending defending this map can be a bit weird at times. Have we got the is that the Okay, so we got because there's there's two bomb variations. So you can get that site there and there. Here, I think in there and there, or here and there. I think there's like two or three variations um, of the bomb site. As far as I know. I, I kind of like that though. So like every game is always different. It's never the same bomb sites. But I feel like just having the same bomb sites would go a long way to um, make it so you know people don't have to worry about. I mean the map layout is still technically the same, right? It's like I just think having the same bomb sites would be good. So it doesn't feel like it's changing all the time. But I digress. It's also pretty good um, to have different bomb sites. So it works either way. So fuck. He's there! He's coming up! He's the bottom floor coming out the stairs, up the stairs. He's dragging my corpse. Fuck him up, fuck him up, Kenny. Oh no, I walked into his shots. Damn it. That was bad, I shouldn't have done that. I should have naded it. I had nades there too. Now I'm just gonna chill and defend the site. No need to rush anywhere. I kind of want to get back to where I was before. I was doing so well up there. Oh shit. Oh my god, I just got him. Oh, they're down there. Okay. They're right under me. Gonna play slow here, play positioning. Just got that guy. Little peak hole here. Love using these little peak holes, by the way. They're disgusting. Unless they blow off the wall, if they don't, it's just some some little peak holes. Medic! I need a medic! Please. I'm coming, soldier! Yes. No! Uh, dude. Oh, if anyone's wondering about my leaderboard, I've had a I have it grouped by scoreboard uh, by squad. So in gameplay, um, as I said it before, if you in here you can change it. It's defaulted by score, but you can change it to group by squads. So that way it helps get rid of the lag. So even if I Oh, sorry. Even if I open all these up here. Oh my gosh. And then just do it back and forth. It won't make the lag all the time. Because it does that when you group it by score. Especially when you're in 127 lobby and they're trying to look at the scoreboard. No. That can be very annoying. So, you want to change it to group by squad. So it just helps. You don't have to though if you don't want to. If you want to see all the players, um, you know, by a list, then go nuts. I just think it's easier... To switch it to that. I think even if they decide to not nerf the grows up or no, whatever. Re oh shit! They're pushing. They knew the whole time it was a trap. Your fucking monster trap. 
Yes, she is. That's car. It's a draw. So if they attack, if they do the first attack, or if you, if you attack first um, and you fail to attack the first two bomb sites, and it's vice versa for the other team, it becomes a draw. Oh my god. I have to go in with that. I'm a, I love Deep Rock, so of course I have to say that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, live commentary. I, I want to do these more often with Battle Bigs. I think it's just fun to do these in general. So I'm going to try and make more Battle Bit videos like this. Uh, so I'll show you my loadout right now for the Groza really quickly. So my loadout for the Groza is the holographic site. Um, side rail is personal preference. Although if you do play nighttime, I recommend a laser or a flashlight just for nighttime. But since you lose a little bit of control and jaw speed, it's not worth putting it on. So I don't think you should put a side uh, side roll on this. Uh, VMB 7.62 or the NT4556. I think these are both great barrels in their own rights. Although if you do struggle a bit with the vertical recoil, you can swap to the tactical. The tactical barrel is also really good for that as well. And even though, and you, yeah, a few extra um, upsides and downsides to that. More so in terms of recoil, I, I would definitely go the 7.62 or the tactical. But these are all really good options. And no no mag, no mag attachment because this doesn't allow any mags. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, as always, I have more coming to you soon. Peace. Yeah.